my responsibility here at Source Day is the visual ERP franchise. Source Day is an extension. We're a third party application that extends the value of visual ERP. ERP is what most people know it as, is an enterprise resource planning tool. So that is uh, what they're running their manufacturing operations on. But the problem that most ERPs, not just in visual, uh, what we see is, is there's a gap between their supply base and between their buyers, right? Their procurement group. So what we're doing is we're bridging that gap with a technology called Source Day that isn't a collaboration engine. So we're getting, you know, the buyers and the suppliers out of the world of constant communicating through emails, phone calls and spreadsheets because it's very siloed communication. And what we're doing is, is we're bringing other stakeholders within the business onto a platform for the collaboration. So now there's more visibility, there's more accountability, right? So it's less risky when you have other stakeholders that are in tune and in line with everything going on with purchase order and purchase order management. So that's what we're doing is we're, again, we're an extension of visual. Uh, we are an approved third party application. And uh, as I mentioned, we bridge the gap between the procurement group and all their raw material suppliers. What we see, in, and again, from my background in manufacturing and even 20 plus years ago, it's the same. We always see buyers are in what we call a reactive mode. It's not, um, it's more of a tactical approach and reactive because they're chasing down suppliers. They're chasing down late purchase orders. They're even chasing down the, the initial time they deliver a PO to a supplier. And that's the acknowledgement which to us, the acknowledgement phase is probably the one of the most critical phases of the life cycle of that PO, because if you don't get a supplier to acknowledge that PO, how do you know that they even received that PO because you sent it in an email, right? So through automation, we're gonna drive that uh, acknowledgement process. And so now the buyers are now gonna become more of a proactive strategic buyer. Versus, you know, let automation chase down late purchase orders. Let automation chase down acknowledgements. Let automation literally expedite for you, right? So that's freeing up buyers anywhere from six to eight hours a week. That allows them to pivot and like it become more of a proactive buyer versus a reactive buyer, meaning strategic approach versus tactical, which is so much more valuable to an organization, right? Because you're paying buyers a great amount of money. It could be 50, 60, $70,000 a year. And you want them to be again, strategic and not, you know, a tactical buyer because that's not value added to the business. Uh, the first mile is so critical. There's a lot of hyper-focus right now on the last mile of the supply chain, just due to current uh, labor disputes and everything going on with supply chain, with logistics. But you know what, if you don't create that purchase order, you don't get that purchase order over to a supplier, you don't have a last mile. You have to really focus your attention on getting secure material in a timely manner at a good cost. And then you're managing that supplier through all the way till that first step. You know, obviously that material has been received on your dock. So today, a lot of that's becoming risky because of the way these buyers are communicating with suppliers. So they are, again, in a reactive mode. They're not able to keep their head above water to make sure that their suppliers that they have open POs with are going to deliver to the terms and conditions of that PO. So Source Day is going to, again, bring a lot of automation, visibility and accountability to that process. So now the buyers can focus on the last mile, the logistics side of things. So that's why, again, it's so important to nail down your first mile, make sure you've got a a very well-defined process and you follow that process. Therefore, again, you reduce risk on the first mile, but also help improve the last mile. The purchase orders are still being created in visual, but we are syncing with the visual database every 15 minutes to look for any new POs or change POs. And what we're doing is, is that's when the automation begins. Once we see a new or a change PO, we're actually delivering that to the supplier real time they would you know, obviously get an email with a hyperlink and they click on that. And that's when, again, the collaboration aspect starts. That whole process of buyers and suppliers collaborating. And one huge value, as I mentioned earlier, is that the ability to, again, get out of the siloed communication between a buyer and supplier, because it's very risky to a, a company. Uh, because like I said, a production manager, an operations manager, a general manager is not seeing that communication between that buyer and supplier because that communication is embedded in emails and not making its way back into visual. Therefore, other stakeholders can go look at visual and see what's going on without having to rely on the buyer being the sounding board of information.
right? So what we're doing is, is grading, increasing the visibility uh, within, you know, a, a manufacturing plant. They can have multiple people on the platform uh, and it's really driving that, that uh, visibility. So buyers, again, are not that sounding board of information because unfortunately they are today. Uh, and they are running a hundred miles an hour all day long, chasing down suppliers and chasing down late purchase orders. Now they have to stop and answer emails and phone calls from other stakeholders in the business, which is very wasteful. It's not a lean process and it's very time consuming. And again, it takes away from that buyer. We have two main modules in our platform for visual. Uh, one is PO collaboration or what some people call PO automation. And then we have the AP automation for three-way matching on the back end. But what we're doing on the PO side directly impacts the accounts payable group without even adding automation. So we have a lot of our customers are running both modules, PO collaboration and AP automation, which is the best in class for, for visual, right? Because now you're cleaning up the PO data, you're cleaning up the ERP, which automatically benefits the AP group when it comes to three-way matching. So we have, you know, several customers. One that comes to mind right away is Napoleon. Uh, they're based out of uh, Canada. They're a grill manufacturer. They do fireplaces. Uh, they were one of our early adopters uh, of the AP platform. And uh, once we, you know, worked together to fine tune that entire process, and there were 97% of their invoices coming in that were touchless. They weren't even having to touch them anymore because it's all automated. Therefore, they can obviously um, take advantage of early payment discounts because they're paying on time. They're able to close their month out earlier because they're again, more efficient in that side, right? So, but it takes both the PO collaboration side to increase that first pass match. If not, if you just run AP automation, you're not gonna see as high success because of what we're doing on the PO side. So that's one success story. And we have several others that are reaping the rewards and the benefits, the ROI, it's, it's a slam dunk for both PO collaboration and AP automation because, again, it's such a manual, inefficient way that there's so much room for improvement and, and, and you know, becoming more efficient in both, both, again, PO side and the procurement group and the AP group. That goes back to how are the buyers today managing their business with suppliers, how they manage in purchase orders, purchase order lines. I don't really ever talk on, a, on on calls with executives about PO management. It's PO line management, right? Because a purchase order could have 50 lines on it and that poor buyer has to manage 50 different potential due dates, right? So that is again, very time consuming, but back to, you know, stopping, you know, misses at the source. We are a proactive platform. We manage by exception. We want buyers to focus on exception management and not the tactical day-to-day -day process of managing that PO. Let's source day, let's, you know, again, technology take care of that. And what that is, is a great example. One of the um, uh, modules within the, the PO collaboration is called Radar. So when we talk about being proactive, this is a functionality of being able to give the buyers a tool to go and confirm every open PO that they have. Right today, what they're doing is, is they're calling and emailing suppliers and asking them if they're still on time, if they have the time to even do that, because they're constantly in reactive mode. So what source day does is we built the radar functionality. Now you can put suppliers in a radar cadence, meaning 30, 30 day radar, 45, 60 day radar. And anytime a PO falls into one of those cadences, we will personally on the behalf of the buyer, reach out to that supplier and, and ask them, are they still on time? This again is so critical because that's how you stop misses at the source, right? Because now you're being proactive. We are not going to stop a supplier from running late. We don't control their capacity. We don't control their raw material spend, their labor, right? We don't control that. But what we can do is be very, very proactive in catching a late before it becomes late. Because when you do that, you literally can pivot. You There's so much opportunity for you know, correcting a potential miss, right? You can collaborate, you can communicate with the production team, you can let your customer know that you're gonna run late because you knew two weeks in advance that that purchase order was gonna run late. So those are again, stopping misses at the source is being proactive, I say it a lot, and versus reactive. When you're in reactive mode, you just open up a whole can 
of literally just risky opportunities to impact the business. So that's why, again, our slogan, Stop Misses at the Source is so critical and it, it happens every day.